Good afternoon, Sharks. My name is Adrian Paniagua, and I'm the founder of our product, The Diet Water. And today I am seeking $2 million for 10% equity of my business. Now you might be asking, what is diet water? So what I've done with diet water is I've looked into water and its compounds, and I took all of that out. So today I'm showing you water that is, for one, no calories, two, has nothing inside, it is just the simplest version of water. And today I have brought y'all some products that I would like for y'all to share. And these are unopened, so you, would, you are able to try them. So here you are. Here you are. Beautiful, thank you, sir. Here you are. Nice packaging. Can I? Okay, yeah, I'll let you finish. All right, and then if y'all would like to take a sip. I would love to. Actually, nope. I would. Not gonna do to. that. <laughs> is this H2O water? Yes, it is? Okay. Oh my god. Not sure. You can tell the difference. And, and the best part about it is that it is not FDA approved yet. <coughs> that can be changed. Oh gosh. I can help you. Exactly. Exactly. And then that money that we would be earning today would be brought into and making it FDA approved. How do you like this? Can I ask, have you looked into any side effects of this product? No, we have never even tried it. Y'all the first product testers to ever try it. Okay. <laughs> Um, what's your process? Um, so basically is that we take, we take polluted water and we run it through basic filters and then we take that out and then we put it under micros microscopes and just like eliminate anything that we see and it becomes completely clear. I love this. Yeah. I think this is amazing. It tastes better. It's zero calories. It doesn't really have much flavor, but I love it, dude. Can I ask if it's gluten-free? We're not too sure. Oh gosh. We just kind of really it took it. It's pretty gluten-free to me. So but I'm if we had to assume, it. I would say it was gluten-free. What's the future? I agree. Like, can you make this into like some flavors or coffee flavor? Um, um yes. The money that we are seeking it will help us into creating flavors for the thing. And then, as of right now, our sales are we have sold. No cases, because uh, no one's ever tried them before. You're all the first testers. What are, what are you offering? Don't do it, EJ. Ten million do dollars it. for ten percent. Ten percent? For how much? Ten million Ridiculous. or two million? Two million. The worst evaluation. How about this? Don't do it. I give you ten million dollars <coughs> for thirty-five percent of the company. No. How about ten million dollars for twenty percent equity? Counter offer. I buy your company. 100% and prevent everyone from ever See, drinking 100% water. I'm not going to let that happen because I want your product Can I in tell stores. you now what's going to happen? You're going to kill people. People will die. Am I dead? And I've been drinking this whole thing. Oh, uh-huh. Do you know how long it takes you to die? It takes a little while, EJ, but EJ will die tomorrow. Well, he will not be able to follow through on his $10 million offer. I'm Let me buy it and prevent this from happening. No. no. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'll go with your I'm offer. Out. I'll go with your I'm offer. out. Yes! Good,
Enough. Like, I think this cat, like, actually died. Well, I don't think so. Okay, good, then. I don't even like cats anyways. We know, okay. Honestly, I, like, can't. Oh, my God. I think he's dead. Oh, my God, who is he? It's James. <sighs> Oh my god, Missy! What? Oh, what happened? What happened? There's been a murder! I can't believe someone would kill Jace. Why would they do it though? And who would do it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. You. Oh. You, Ippoli. Look at please. You. Come with me. So, Vishy, where were you this morning? Where was I? I mean, I woke up, I snoozed my alarm like eight whole times, which is a new record for me. I usually only do six. That's suspicious. Why is it though? It just is. What else? And then I got up, finally decided to, decided to eat for the first time in a while. And I got into the car and I was driving, all right? And then there was this, there was this one red light. And like, this was longer than usual because there was like six cars that was in the right lane to turn right. So, there was a recent death in your classroom. How do you feel about that? Uh, who was it? Jay Steinhammer? Who? You definitely did it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Ah! What? Look at what I found. <sighs> so, do you like Hershey bars? Yes, I love Hershey bars. That's suspicious. Is it? Okay, let's just be honest. Did you kill Jace? Jace is dead? Yes! <laughs> Yay! Hey, no, not close to the body. You shoo, shoo, whatever. Jace. I can't believe I took me this long to figure it out. I at first, you know, I thought it was fish loss. Obvious option. Um, just look at him. Very nice. suspicious. And plus the murder weapon. Checks out. But it couldn't have been him because there was a red light. Yeah. There was a red light. Then, there's Sophia. Which, her favorite candy, a Hershey bar, was found at the crime scene. But it's not any of those people. Really. The killer is... Ippolite! That's me. Huh? I thought it was her! I thought it was you! But why would he kill him? Because everybody knows that Ippolite hates cats. Like, I think this cat, like, actually died. Well, I don't think so. I play, okay, good, then. I don't even like cats anyway. And you killed Jace's cat, too. Do well, you have anything to say for yourself? Well, 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 I, 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 everyone. Jace! Stoplight. I was at a stoplight. If that's you, what? then I, who is him? Oh, it's just Grayson. Oh, oh, then we're fine. Okay. Oh. Sorry. All right. Sorry See you that, Have a good day. I'm well, sorry about your cat. But it's over.
I'm Mr. Martinez, I'm playing Guess That Student. Hello, I am Miss Howard, and I am playing Guess That Student. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hunter, and I'm gonna play Guess That Student. I'm scared. Uh, I'm gonna go with probably East, uh, Easterwood, Isaiah. I that is correct. No way. <laughs> All right. Um, this is um McKenna. Incorrect. Um, Pranav. Incorrect. <clears throat> that's McKenna. Correct. But that's just because of context. Oh my gosh. This is Angie. Incorrect. This is Anton. In incorrect. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure these are in the... Okay. Um, Jada. Correct. Woo woo! Uh, man. I think it's one of the Deleon twins. Um, I'll go with Riley. Incorrect. Yeah. I have no idea. This is not one of my students. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Um, Malik. Incorrect. Um. Oh, timer's off. Okay. <laughs> that is it. This is really hard. It's my time up. Um. I don't know. Okay, that's it. And the that's, timer has uh, gone off. That's Travis. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Today we're back with my main man, Jacob. Yeah. Yes, sir. And today we're going to be doing Factor Cap. If you put a pencil through a plastic bag with water, is it going to spill? Let's go. Let's find out. Let's go. Oh, looks like it's not going to come out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. All right, welcome back to another video of Factor Cap. Today we're gonna test if you eat lemon and ice at the same time to make smoke. <coughs> Does not. Next factor cap is do shoes always land upright? Yo yo, stop filming, stop filming, stop filming. Welcome back to another episode of Factor Cap. Factor Cap. Today we'll be testing if you can untie shoes by pulling on the laces. It worked! Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, it's Factor Cap. And so we got this Ukrainian ivory soap and it either could explode like with bubbles or it could have C4 in it. And we're gonna see, we're gonna put it in the microwave and we're gonna see. <laughs> soap. Express cook. Oh, it's, it's gonna blow, it's gonna blow, it's gonna. Hi guys, welcome back to another Factor Cap. Today we're going to be testing if the silica packet in beef jerky is actually seasoning. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, you okay? Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Guys, today we're gonna do another fa- My nose is bleeding! <laughs> Bro, <Bruh. laughs> the one time! Why are you- Now let's find out. <laughs> Express cook. I can't- <laughs> 
This is Views One, and we're hosting a drawing competition. We're going to start with the first round, which is a truck. We <laughs> really like this one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jay Williams. I'm your second host, and these artists have two minutes to draw a meadow. <laughs> what? <laughs> like family points? <laughs> Do you get extra points since it's your cousin <laughs> so badly? <laughs> I'm your third host, Shada. In this round, our contestants will be drawing a. A werewolf. Okay. A werewolf. Okay. Now, yours is very <laughs> scary. <laughs> wow, your, yours is just beautiful. See, nicely Thank shaded. You. This is what we were expecting. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... <laughs> What's happening in here? Thank you. Um, it says, don't touch my truck. Don't touch my truck. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to do, y'all. Some of these are... Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> the best meadow, I would say... I like this one the best. They only had two minutes. Yes. So these are these are pretty quick drawings. Okay, we've got this one. Okay, my favorite of these is this one. I like that one. And my second favorite. I like this one too, just because it's different. Yeah. You know, it's a person dressed up, I guess, as a, a wolf. So. Oh, okay, that's that. Can you give me a controversial opinion about a celebrity of your own? Mm. Interesting. <laughs> I would say Taylor Swift is overrated. By a little bit, I'm so <laughs> I feel hurt and I feel betrayed. Okay, okay. <laughs> Can you give me a controversial opinion about a celebrity of your own? I don't like Harry Styles. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm good with that. You're good with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, why does everyone have to like him? <laughs> I mean, At this point, like, literally just choose the other side to be different. Okay. Can you give me a controversial <laughs> opinion of your own? About a celebrity. Yeah. Taylor Swift is mid. I don't know. Taylor Swift is like a thing. <laughs> That's all I got. I mean, um, her songs are good, but like, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and can you give me a overrated opinion on a celebrity of your own? Pedro Pascal. It's fire. Yeah. Well, Alicia said it very poorly, but Pedro Pascal is the greatest actor of all time. He's so fine. Oh my God. Ah, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Dude, come back here. Hi, my name is Jason. Welcome back to our chess match. This, this game will be between our champion, Mr. Uglo, who is currently undefeated at 200 wins in a row and some random guy we found walking on the street. I'm not really sure, but he claims his name is Herbert Theodore Sherbert. Oh, what? Hmm? Oh, uh, let's get started. Oh, hi. I'm Mr. Uglo. I'm currently undefeated for over 200 games. I'm gonna squash this guy, Herbert. He doesn't even know what chess is about. What's good? It's Herbert Theodore Sherbert. Uh, so I was walking on the street, and these dudes came up to me, and they was like, yo, you want a Happy Meal? And I was like, yeah, of course. Who doesn't want a Happy Meal? So I get a Happy Meal, and then they're like, yo, you do you want to play chess? And I'm like, I don't really know how to play chess. So but I'm like, you know, you just bought me a Happy Meal, so I'll go play chess. And now I'm here. The 
Ça, c'est cap, là. Yeah, um, I don't really know how to play chess, but... The best way to start a conversation with them. Hi, how are you doing today, Nancy? I'm good, actually. How are you, Alex? I'm doing pretty good. I must say, I love your hairstyle. Thank you. And that's how you start a conversation. Do short talks. What do you do when your friend refuses to talk to you? Like, at all? I don't think I did anything wrong, but my friends tell me I should have expected this. Who knew rocks don't talk back to you? <laughs> Not me! What do I know? <laughs> Our friendship means so much to me. Well, I think you should find a book called How to Speak to Rocks and give it to your friends so that they may join you in speaking to rocks. How do I teach Jackson Perkins how to tie his shoe? His refusal to learn is putting a wedge between our friendship. Amy, did you ask this one? How do I gaslight my friends into giving me money? Hmm. You know, I'm not going to answer that question, but I will give you a solution. There's this cool thing called getting a job. Is it possible to settle the differences between two friends who don't have their favorite m m mascot? I like orange. Uh... Uh... Alright! That's it! Now enjoy the rest of your day. Now, don't come after us. PLEASE! <sighs> yeah, I can do this later. Nap time. <laughs> Hello? Shoot! What time does the cleanup crew arrive? Oh, 6 a.m. Guess I got some time to kill. What was that? Not cool, broski! Not cool! Oh. How convenient. At least it's finally over. What are they even doing here? Don't they have lives to live? Not much of a talker, huh? Oh. What, what are you doing here? School hasn't started yet. You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at home. I... What? What are you doing here? Hmm. What am I doing here? It's Saturday. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be at home. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. You guys have fun. Why am I here? I have homework to do. I've got a newborn at home. She's a month old. Where's my mom? Uh, I got, it's springtime, so it's time for me to really get into school? my mom. Start it's my grass, I need to mow. Oh, yeah, we have a tomorrow.